quality versus quality quality versus quantity that good old quality versus quantity argument christian i love having this argument with people what is more important this is probably the second or third most consistent question that gets asked to podcasters myself included really yeah and so i'm christian i'm going to ask you first what do you think is more important quality or quantity of content I mean, I think it has to be quality regardless. That's to me, that's a given. That's a no brainer. I mean, quality is important. Quality is, you know, like, because that, like, if you're making the quantity argument, that's just like kind of the be there. Yes. Just be there argument, which definitely, you know, has some merit, but eventually people are going to stop listening if you're just there and not really saying anything of substance. I think, I think you got to have quality. No brainer. Got to have quality, but you also got to be consistent. So what does that translate to? Yeah, quantity. Yeah. Yeah. So essentially, yeah, I think it's a dumb argument. I think it's such a dumb argument because the truth is you need quality of quantity, meaning you need both. They're both pretty much equally important. But gun to my head, which I say is more important, I would say quantity because quality is subjective. Quantity is not. Quantity is number. That's a fact. Quality is there's room for debate. This is a it's, it's it is a dumb argument. Yeah. Where anybody successful in life, you know, even if you break it down to a singular job, it's like do you do you do you need to do good at work sometimes, or yeah. do you need to do good yeah. at work all, all the, the time, time, a all, lot of a times, lot of times, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> and that's, that's great. That's really good. That's I'm gonna remember. It's that like one. well, you know, I do a good job once a month. Yeah. I mean, I mean, there are places and careers where you can get away with that. But if you're talking about doing well and advancement, you're not getting promotion off doing, yeah, I, I, I did a good job a couple times, you know, once. Yeah, yeah. Every once in a while, I'll do something good. Yeah. So you got to be good a lot of the time. And anything, if you want to be great. I, I do have this debate, not frequently, but frequently enough. And that's just, that's my stance. You need quality of quantity. Uh, it's like, a, you need quantity of quality, whatever. Um, but I, I say that three times. Yeah, say that three times fast. We don't mean yeah. that one, Batman. But I do, I do think quantity does get a slight edge because quality is just you know what's good to me. You know, I'm a big fan of Joe Rogan. People out there think Joe Rogan is trash. So, what's hmm. more important there? I guess quantity because he releases a lot of them. People like it. So well, I mean, there is an argument to be, argument to be made that. Um, with quantity, there are going to be there. There's going to be some people that perceive it as quality. Exactly. Just because you're you're, you're putting a lot of content out there, people. It's almost like I learned to like it. Exactly. Yeah. Like people hate Gary V for no reason. Like I don't I don't despise Gary V. I have problems with Gary V, but you know I don't feel so strongly about Gary V. But he does he does quantity that people find quality, and other people don't find quality. So for him. Quantity is way more important. But that's just like, that's just the surface. If you want to dig a little bit deeper into each, like if you're just starting out, the most important thing is quality. If you're just releasing a podcast, your first introduction to the world, you want to make sure that shit is tight. Right? You want to make sure it's good. It has to sound good. It has to look good. It needs to be well produced and marketed well. You know, once you get, um, once you got that down, you need to be releasing as much as possible. Once you get the formula of quality down, once your audience understands what quality is, once your audience tells you what quality is, then you just pound the pavement. You beat that algorithm into submission with as much as that quality content as possible. Once you have the quality, you do unlimited in quantity. Rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat. But you know, again, with, with quality being subjective, that's another reason why I diversify my content as much as possible. So you know, I was talking with Tarashuk, right? Like, this this podcast is being released on a Talking with Tarashuk feed next to a business podcast, and before that, it's a it's a uh, unknown, unnamed nonsense. The three are nothing alike. They are completely different. That's on purpose. I diversify my content because the more diverse my content is, the more diverse my listeners are. And the more diverse my listeners are, the more potential there is for them. Well, right? there's also format. It's also format. Because, you know, you have the, the full-fledged, you know, long play, full version of the podcast on YouTube. Exactly. Some people want to watch. Some people like Some that. people want to listen. 
But you also could go further and you have things that are formatted specifically for TikTok, mm-hmm. short videos or YouTube shorts. Not everybody's going to want to listen to the whole thing. They're just going to want to have the, you know, the touch points and get the gist. So diversification. Yeah, some people don't have two hours listening to me and Trevor talk about baseball. <laughs> it just doesn't happen. But we did. You know, that is one of my favorite podcasts. We talked for two hours. Um, but that's on YouTube, right? Um, that, in my opinion, is quality. That, to people's opinion, is quality. Um, but to other people, it's not quality. They find 60 seconds of debating whether Christian's Puerto Rican on TikTok quality. <laughs> 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 it's still our highest rated oh, video on TikTok man. by far. Yeah. Um, inside joke, anyone follows our TikTok at Talking with Tara Shuck. Um, but yeah, I diversify my content. And that gets down to our RSS distribution, why I diversify, which I'm going to get into in a little bit. But on the quantity versus quality, you also have to take into account the social media algorithms, which pretty much take quality and throw it out the window. They just crumple it up and throw it in the corner. Social media don't give a damn about what quality content is because to them it's an algorithm to them it's engagement in numbers it's perceived it's perceived quality exactly based off a robot you know an algorithm exactly your your grainy video that your five-year-old shot can get 10 million views on tiktok and it's just him doing a handstand and falling over (laughs) who directed this who get that can get 10 million views on tiktok Whereas someone in a professional studio like this one or on CNBC can get 10. So put that into perspective. How does that make sense? It doesn't, but it does. Right? At the end of the day, the algorithm rewards those who meet their criteria. And their criteria typically trends more towards quantity than it does quality. Especially like TikTok reels and YouTube shorts. So, conclusion. Find your quality at first, produce as much as that as possible, tailor to the social media algorithms, and from there, you get quantity of quality and growth. 